Hello everybody! Welcome back to another series of what I bought on Steam. I actually bought this last, uh, yesterday, uh, for $14.99. It wasn't on sale, normally I buy things on sale, but, uh, I really want to give this a try. It's, um, it's got a lot of buzz going around it because it was a Kickstarter, and, uh, it's very retro, reminiscent of Mega Man and NES. So, uh, I love those games, um, I was always terrible at them. But, uh, I thought I'd give it a try. Okay, I played for about two hours yesterday, just to make sure it'd be good for recording. Um, I played, and, I mean, after two ep uh, two levels, I was certain it was good for recording, but I just had to keep going. Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I had to keep going. It's a great game. I eventually rage quit because of a, uh, a little optional encounter called Baz Knight. Who, uh, I figured out his pattern, his pattern, um, I had it, uh, perfectly down. I knew what was going to happen. I just couldn't, you know, execute, uh, everything. I was getting very frustrated with it, so, uh, I had to quit. Um, let's go for a name. Last one I did, QWERTY, well, QWERTY, yep. And this time, let's go for the Vorik. I've never actually used a Dvorak keyboard before. Uh, there's all sorts of rumors about Dvorak, where it's uh, the better keyboard for typing quickly, which all of that is just rumor and speculation. Um, the whole QWERTY being designed to slow down your typing, uh, that's a lot of crap. <laughs> That's one of those urban legends people believe, uh, not actually true. Long ago, the lands were untamed and roamed by legendary adventurers. Of all heroes, none shone brighter than Shovel Knight and Shield Knight. How would Shield Knight attack anyone? I guess, how would Shovel Knight attack most people, but you know, he doesn't. But their travels together ended at the Tower of Fate, when a cursed amulet wrought a terrible magic. When Shovel Knight awoke, the tower was sealed, and Shield Knight was gone. His spirit broken, a grieving Shovel Knight went into a life of solitude. But without champions, the land was seized by a vile power. The Enchantress and her order of no quarter Now, the tower is unsealed, and devastation looms. A new adventure is about to begin. Featuring me, Shovel Knight. Sharpen thy shovel. So you can see, very uh, old style graphics, 8-bit I guess. Um, I don't know if this is actually 8-bit, but it's 8-bit inspired. Um, and I got a cute little guy here with a shovel. Um, you can shovel. You can jump. You can do the down shovel. And you can dance. I'll be right back, everybody. Alright, I'm back. I uh, had to do a quick thing, but uh, now we're here. I'm ready to play. So, yeah, you can dance. This is the crouch. <laughs> this is, I mean, I'm very uh, used to like Mega Man style games where you actually crouch and uh, whenever I face the boss, um, you'll see this, but uh, <laughs> I'll try to crouch and it doesn't actually do anything. Yeah, you can shovel these piles. I don't know, it's just a cute little happy game. Um, it's running a little slower now that I'm recording, but uh. It's really fun, really well designed, 
Um, I don't, I don't remember it doing this, but uh, I watched a few videos, and uh, your guy, the Shovel Knight, would disappear when he got hit, which was uh, reminiscent of um, old style games. Uh, you know, it was just the limitations of the NES. When you were invincible, you would go uh, invisible, and sometimes you would go more invisible, and you couldn't actually see your guy, which was a bit of a hindrance. Um, I don't remember that happening too badly in this game, uh, but I remember watching a video where it happened. So hopefully, now that I'm recording, it doesn't happen like that either. So yeah, you want to collect all these jewels. They're your money. You can buy a health upgrade. You can buy the magic. It's not like Mega Man where you uh, absorb your enemy's um, power. It's just uh, you buy things, and that's your magic. You can break these things in the later uh, levels. These are your checkpoints. And you get a gem for it. But then, if you die, and uh, I'm very likely to die, uh, you won't respawn there. You'll respawn at the one before it, I guess. Um, I actually haven't died once I've broken them. I've only broken, like, two. Because uh, I'm too terrified of dying. This music is great, isn't it? It's very... Retro <laughs> for, um, I mean, it, it fits the entirety of this game, and so does this black screen. Uh, bosses used to, um, uh, like for in Metroid, for I think it was Kraid, um, for him to look like he did, they had to give him a, a black wall so that he could uh, be part of the background. I think uh, I learned this on what. Uh, what you know about game? What, what is that channel? Um, the, the gaming channel that teaches you about games. I forget what it's called now. You know, you know the one. If you like games, you probably have seen it. I'll I'll look it up. Well, yeah. Uh, they they do great things with the background. Um, there's some lighting effects. There's some uh, just you know, interesting things in the background. Things that, um, I think we're coming up to a one of the parts, but, uh, like these guys, they're green, the grass is green, you have green, uh, enemies around. It's just really easy to miss some of the green things and think they're part of the background or the setting when they're not, uh, which I think is good level design. Um, I'm sure that's intentional. Yeah, this game is one full of secrets. I'm gonna miss a lot of them. Um, I remember when I first watched this, it was by uh, Epic Name Bro. Uh, does a lot of Dark Souls Let's Plays. Um, and he was uh, demonstrating the demo level and talking about how those secrets are pretty easy to miss. But uh, I actually think that's... You know, he reasoned that because he was playing it um, and we were just watching that it seemed easier um, to find everything, but that level is actually, the secrets are pretty obvious. Um, there are some later levels where they're definitely a little more tricky, uh, levels involving like bombs and exploding enemies that uh, it's a lot easier to miss. Them. Uh, if you look up there in the top um, bar, uh, which you, which the Shovel Knight can actually go in front of all those things. Um, the gold is, you know, my money, as I said. And the item area, I don't have anything there. That little box. Uh, that'll be my magic. Uh, whatever magic item I have. And, uh, let's see, do I have anything? That's the wrong one. I don't have any gear yet. Yeah, you can change your outfit, and you can change your shovel. And you can get, like, little, um, upgrades for your health and whatever else. But, um, damn it, I missed that. Uh, but yeah, you, uh, you'll get items, and that little jar thing is your magic, which you can also upgrade with the money. Um, I don't find too many of them incredibly useful right now. Um, at least from the, from my gameplay, um, my personal play. But I'm sure other people are more strategic about them. 
Um, there are definitely ones that are useful. Uh, like there's a fishing rod you can use for getting in uh, for in the pit. There will sometimes be sparkly things, and that's how you know there's treasure. And you can you know, drop your fishing rod flying down there. Here's a checkpoint. So bubbles hurt you if they touch you, but you can just bounce off them. Your health uh, up there. Right now I have four. You have my four life. Uh, you restore that with um, what do you call it? With the uh, with food. And, um, you get chicken, as I saw earlier. But you also get like apples and carrots. Um, apples are the medium health re restoration. Carrots are the, the like minor one. I think they give one. Um, and the Chicken is full health, as far as I know. I, don't, I haven't had full health upgrade or anything, so maybe it only restores like 10 or something. Uh, these little magic, uh, not magic, uh, like scrolls with the music note on them, they're for like a side quest where you get money and you also get new music. Uh, well, the music is just for like playing in town, uh, I think. I don't think you can play it in like a boss level. So some of the music I wish I could replace um, with, you know, other music. Not that any of it's bad, it's just uh, some of it's, you know, more preferable. As you can see, some of the secrets are uh, double-sided. They have little enemies hiding in them. Um, and you know it's a secret because you see a little, like, uh, design thing in the wall that's different from the rest of the uh, palette. Oh shit, I forgot about that. There we go. See, some of them are easy to miss, but they also give you a lot of uh, hints if you've missed them. And there's a carrot. If I was hurt, then it would restore one of those circles. And each of those circles is actually two hits, uh, normally. A few enemies, like um, the Boz Knight, Boz Knight. Uh, he does one whole circle with some of his attacks, uh, which I guess would be like the strong attack. But um, yeah, there are two hits. Same with the boss's health, which you can see the boss's health right now. Um, it's not full, but uh, you can see how many he'll have. So yeah, this is one of the areas where it's very easy to miss those little green gooey guys. Um, just because they blend in so well, they have the the grass to hide behind, there's green trees, there's green grass that you're standing on, there's like green dragons, green gems, there's just a lot of green. It has to be intentional, right? Well, you would think it would be. And we got another dragon. That's how you know the uh, bubbles hurt you. Dragon, not too difficult. I think he's really just showing you. Um, like, this game has a lot of great teaching uh, techniques. Aww. Where, um, you know, it doesn't have a tutorial. It doesn't tell you the controls. It doesn't tell you... Uh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> it doesn't tell you the controls. It doesn't tell you, um, you know, what to do or how to do it. It just shows you very, very smoothly. And uh, like there, I just died, as you saw. And uh, money flew out of me. My gold up there got wor uh, got lower. And um, I can go back and collect that gold. I think I lose a little bit of it. Um, it might be just if it doesn't split evenly, then I lose some. Uh, usually there's three bags. Uh, the less gold you have, the... Um, the, like smaller the bags. If you have a lot of gold, you'll get these gold bags, and they have like a thousand gold in them. If uh, you only have a moderate amount of gold, like I do, then uh, they each have like 200, 300. Um, not too much. If you have very little gold, they have like 30 in them, and they're just tiny, empty brown bags that, uh, that make you feel really bad about yourself. You're just like, oh, I'm poor. I can't afford anything. 
So yeah, you just collect them. This time there's only two. Guys. And apparently he just wanted to walk off the edge. Dumb idiot. I think this music is really good to jam out to. Though, it drives me absolutely crazy uh, whenever I'm getting frustrated because it's just so repetitive that it's like, oh, fucking stop already. And, uh, you know, it's just when you're irritated, anything is like uh, just cause for freaking out, for cussing, for yelling. Especially those little green guys. I hate them. They're my least favorite enemies. So far. Uh, just because. I get hit by them unnecessarily because uh, I'm not paying that close attention. <gasps> oh, yeah. I always get a little hesitant about some of these jumps. So, like right here, uh, normally you go right, you just keep going. But they give you this little ledge as your hint that there's a secret over here. And they give you this guy if you want to bounce off him. I don't think you have to. Maybe you do. I don't remember. I, I don't think I've tried without bouncing off them, but it looks like you can make that jump, right? Yeah, there's these little chests around. Um, they do some interesting things with them. Like, there's some enemies involved, and um, you'll see. Uh, I I tried playing this game um, on um, on video called Breath of Death 7. That's similar to this. It's very retro, it's it's a JRPG, um, and it's it kind of makes fun of the um, the old style of things, uh, while also like, this one I think is a complete tribute to um, old style games, whereas that one is a lot of a uh, cheeky sarcasm. Here's, a here's the boss, who I think looks a lot cooler than I do. Uh, he's got the straight up and down horns, and the black and red, and the cooler uh, eye holes. But I have no idea why they're red. Turn back, Shovel Knight. There's nothing here for you anymore. Stand aside, Black Knight. I have no quarrel with you. I must return to the Tower of Fate. Your time away has dulled your senses. Can't you see? This entire valley has been conquered by the Enchantress. So I don't really know if he's a bad guy or not. And her invincible knights of the Order of No Quarter stand between you and the tower. Because he's not really standing in my way. He's just, I don't know, maybe he's a good guy. He's trying to stop her. But none of that matters. Because anyone after the Enchantress has to go through me. He seems um like Proto Man in Mega Man. Steal thy shovel. You know, he's testing you, he's the anti-hero, um, he's like an obstacle, but he's not really helping the bad guys. He's not your main enemy by any means. The first time I fought, fought this guy, I was getting my ass kicked quite a bit. Uh, just because, you know, you haven't played, I haven't played Mega Man for years, um, and you, you get a little used to modern day games that are um, more complex. I don't think old games are better. I think they're just simple. So uh, what they do, they always do right. Um, and now modern day, modern day games, they're very uh, complex. And that makes it a little easier to uh, screw things up, to unbalance things. Uh, but yeah, I think this is a great game. Um, I definitely think Mega Man is a great game. It's just easier to see the difference between a good game in old days and bad games in old days. Um, like watching the Game Grumps, uh, who uh, are recently playing the series too. Um, watching them play like Toe Jam and Earl and Decap Attack, you really see the difference between like a good platformer and a bad platformer. Both of those are bad platformers. Toe Jam and Earl isn't really a platformer, it's just a bad game very obviously bad game. Um, I, I think so. Maybe you enjoy it. Maybe you're the biggest Toe Jam and Earl fan. Uh, but it's just so 90s. Oh yeah, sometimes um, after every level you'll come to this campfire and sometimes you have uh, little mini games 
Like right now I have to catch her. Which I think they just do amazing art with this. Hey, watch. Oh. <gasps> I'll save you. Yeah. And you have completely control over it. I mean, I could let her fall. I don't know what happens if I let her fall. I should have tried. Yeah. And you wake up, and you dig the fire pit. Get a little extra gold. So I have, uh... Okay. I have enough for a meal ticket. Um, I have a few of those... Uh, musical notes, so um, that'll be 500 each. So uh, I might have enough for two meal tickets, but instead I'll probably go for um, some of the upgrades, like the fishing line. Uh, not upgrade, but um, a meal ticket upgrades your health or your magic. And um, he's making fun of me because I have a shovel instead of a sword. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, the meal ticket upgrades your health or your magic, and uh, the weapon upgrades. I like your magic stuff. Hey, old traveler. I am but a simple bard. Oh, he should be British. I can't do a British. Let's try this. Hey, old traveler. I am but a simple bard. But I have a big problem. That's not British. That's not British at all. <laughs> I've lost all my music sheets. My entire repertoire lays scattered across the land. If you ever find a music sheet, Return it to me, and I shall reward you handsomely. Whoa, you have two music sheets. Magnificent. Take 500 gold for each. Wonderful. Let's see here. Oh, you found the rival. Black Knight has fine musical taste. Should have studied composition, but... Then I suppose I'd be the one with the rival. Now that I have this music sheet, I can perform it for you anytime. Just ask. Hail, Shovel Knight, hero of music. What can the humble bard do for you today? Splendid. What would you like to hear? This isn't uh, British at all. I gave up on the whole British thing. This is more like um, a dandy. I got proper uh, proper New Englanders who okay uh, while I was in Korea I met this girl um, back in like September not not like a romantic thing at all um, just met this person who I think is the most annoying pretentious person ever because she talks with an accent that's completely made up she talks with like that fake British accent that um that that people do and it's not it's not really an American accent she's American but she's pretending to be British uh, let's, um, I like this one yeah as your adventure begins we are regaled with tra tales of bravery and despair okay, that's a good word I could buy two meal tickets um, the health is a lot more useful than the actual weapon, but, um, I'll just go for the, uh, so yeah, the meal ticket right now is a thousand gold, uh, it goes up each time. Alright, next is 4,500. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is a goat-tition. A meal ticket? Hand it to me! I'll get to work on my best recipe! I'll dazzle your palate in no time, or less, so ban bon appetit and pardon the mess! He's all speaking in uh, rhymes. There's actually a lot of rhyming in this, which I didn't notice the first time. Uh, like, order of no quarter? Little whale tail or something. Mermaid tail. Yeah, that would increase your health. Your rhino's horn increases your potency. Supposedly. <laughs> it does actually. Ah, new face. Dancers, acolytes, witches, goats. Everyone's welcome in here. Oh! 
That Spectre Knight, if someone could defeat him, I would be bestow upon him my greatest treasure. Sex. Oh, woe is me. The king of nothing. Not to rule, but my lone bar stool. Aw, oh, poor guy. King Knight sits on my pride moor's throne. That gilded goon. He'll get this soon. Gilded means, um... What's it? Uh, like, gold-plated, essentially. Like, it's, uh, fake gold. She tells you all these scat stats. Um, she's, uh, she's not a witch, but, uh, you'll see. Um, she speaks in Latin or false Latin. I don't know if it's real Latin. Uh, she just, yeah. Tells you how many times you died, how much gold you have, how many things you've, um, drummed up, how much time, how much time you've played. I don't know what's really useful about it, but maybe it's interesting. People like metrics. Thanks for helping me, kindly witch. <gasps> I'm not a witch. Yeah, she's Grandma Swamp. No. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, one of the, my complaints about this game are the controls that are a little too simple. Like, they're trying to just do the two-button thing. Um, and in order to do your magic, you pre hold up and press X. And the way you talk to people, you hold up. But I wish they would just give you a third button. Um so that you're not accidentally talking to people when you just happen to press up on the directional uh, stick. On the, not stick. The analog stick, I guess. Is that still the name for it? I don't know. Uh, she does a little game for you, which we'll play, and then... Then I think we'll... Um, yeah, you want to hit these jars as they drop. And you want to try and hit... Ah, oh, shit. You want to try to hit the green or the red, preferably. Oh no! Hitting the blue only gives you one point. Not really worth it. But right now I'm doing terribly. One point. Those little blue ones, they explode. Terrible timing with this, apparently. Yeah, those give you ten. I think the green ones give you... Yeah. One's better than nothing, but normally I try to go for the threes. But, uh, if I get the tens, I'm feeling very lucky. Um, my record, I think, was like 156, uh, which I don't know if that's good or not. Like, she gave me something for it, but um, I beat it. But, yeah, I think it's a lot more difficult. But yeah, I don't know if that's good or not. Um, obviously, I'm doing a lot better, so maybe it was pretty average. She gave me something for it. Well, color me impressed. Yeah, that's what she gave me last time. So I don't know if you just have to get like over 100, over 150, or if there are more prizes. Um, I think this game tries a little too hard to be only retro when they could update it a little bit. Hey, Shovel Knight. I know things are tough, but don't throw in the trowel. <laughs> All he does is talks to you in puns. Hello, fish, fish friend. I'll hail the Truple King. Who's that? You've never heard of the Truple King? Half trout, half apple. Oh, I guess it should be like trapple. Trowpole. Pronounced like mouthful. Yeah, there you go. Trowpole. He's one of the forest gods, here to help those in need. I'm telling the truth! If you ever visit the sacred grotto, hold your chalice aloft, and the Trowpole King will appear. As it happens, I have been entrusted to sell Trowpole chalices to believers. Would you like one? I'm gonna pass on this. Um, they're useful later, but uh, early in the game, not so much. I have other things I want to spend money on. Psst! Hey, blue guy, you wouldn't believe the merchandise I've got for you today. Why not have a look? 
yeah, this is the most useful thing, I think. Um, the green thing, it's a bouncy ball. That, uh, it's fairly useful. Let's get one more pun before we go. Psh, that King Knight. You give him an inch, he thinks he's a ruler. <laughs> Look at his little, uh, puff up at the end. He's so proud of himself. So we'll exit town, and then we'll get out of here. Um, I think I said we would after we did the, uh, what you call it? Uh, the little mini game. But, screw that. Okay, you can talk to this little hedgehog dude. Uh, Hedge farmer, are you really the shovel knight? Prove it by digging up this dirt. Find it. bitch. And then, ah, oh, he's so happy. Yay! Wow, incredible! You really are the shovel knight. That's as excited as I ever get. Uh, I wish I got it that excited for things still. I'm old. So yeah, so this chest, um, in my game, my original game, uh, I walked by it probably about ten times. Like, I just found it right before I fought uh, Boz Knight, um, where I quit. But yeah, I walked past it so many times and just didn't even see it. It blends in so well. All these other guys, they're not really useful to talk to. Um, so we'll end the episode here, because, yeah, I need to eat my pizza. <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you later. Oh, let's talk to this dick. Damn. I thought it was the other one. One of them makes fun of you for not having a shovel. It's like, ha, a shovel? Get a real weapon. I want to, uh, I want to make fun of us before we left. Anyway, I'll, uh, talk to you later. Thank you for watching. Uh, we'll be back with another episode of this shortly. Thanks. Love you. Bye.